I'm Fox Sports Night here with Kevin Snyder. Kevin, weak side linebacker now. Is that the deal? You're yeah. running there. I yeah, guess that's where I'm at. Yep. Yeah, uh, I mean, you're learning all three. Is that the, or you know all three now? Yeah, I know all three. And, you know, they, they say that, you know, I might move over and play some mics soon. I don't know that. But I know the Depot. Uh, and they, sorry, Nick DePaula and uh, Quanzel and them. They'll, they'll pick it up, and they're doing fine over there. But if they need me over there, I'll play some mic if need be. The good thing is that you'd like to be at one spot. So, But the good thing is... You know you can play anywhere, so you know the value of that. How do you approach something like that? Well, I mean, I approach it as it's, I, it gives me opportunity to help the team no matter where we need it. So if they need me a mic, then I can go and play over there and allow someone else to come in at will or wherever it may be. So it's just however I can help the team. What's the key to playing weak? G give me a little difference. Last year we were strong a lot. What, what's the biggest thing between playing weak and strong? And I know they are totally different positions. So. Yeah, I would say the difference is just when you're, when you're playing weak, you need to run more. Run across the formation, you know, come across blocks, things like that. At the same position, you're up on the line. It's basically like a fist fight. So that's a little bit different there. But, uh, yeah, it's just getting to run around, you know, out in space more at the low. Given your athleticism, I would figure the weak fits you well, too. You have length for strong, but the, do you feel comfortable at weak side? Yeah, I really enjoy playing over there. Because it just gives you a little more freedom to run around and make plays than you are at the same, which is a little more structured. Is there much different study habits involved getting ready for it? Uh, a little bit because you have to you have to understand backfield sets and you know guards and center stuff like that. So you need to understand, and then the, your fits obviously change with every different backfield movement. So that's how you kind of have to approach the will as opposed to the sand, which is just one read. Usually, when you make a move like this, there's somebody you lean on. The guy who played it the last couple of years, Kasim Green, is getting ready for the draft. Who do you lean on for this? Well, I really, I've been leaning on Coach Cohen a lot because obviously we had a lot of senior leadership leave. So I lean on Coach Cohen for any questions I might have, just little subtleties that maybe I can pick up on for the next day. So that's, that's what I lean on a lot. All right, and what's it like you have a change in D coordinator with Coach Cohen, who was one of your guys' linebackers coach, not a D coordinator. What's the difference? I just think that we're picking up our intensity more. And, I mean, we haven't changed any of the defensive scheme or anything. We're keeping it the same. And the other good thing is we're limiting some of the different uh, calls we have. We're limiting words, trying to make it easier just to pick up and play instead of making a ton of different calls and things like that. And, and why is that beneficial? Just because of youth or just – I mean – I mean, I think it's beneficial for everybody, but especially for the youth because when you come in as a young kid and you hear all these different terms, they all start to melt together and you can't understand what you're doing. You make mistakes. So it's good for the young guys to just hear certain words and understand exactly what they're doing right away. Weak, strong, middle. What's your favorite linebacker spot and why? I like playing weak the most because it gives you the most freedom to run around, but any position is good for me. I was going to say as long as you're on the field. Yeah, exactly. Hey, last thing, what, what did last season teach you? Because, you know, Moreau got in a role and got a lot of the snaps there. You didn't get as many snaps maybe as people may have expected in training camp moving toward the season. What's your thought process now with things? Well, I think not being in like that and having, having to sit back and then having to learn the will and the mic, I think it was really beneficial because one, I can sit back and see what all these guys were doing, see how they prepared, see how Steven Kasim played the game, and then I can come and kind of do it myself now and do exactly what they tried to do. Kevin, thanks for the time, man. Thank you.